Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make a deep fried turkey. Let's get it. All right, guys, start off this recipe. We have our turkey here. This is a 20 pound turkey. Uh, it was previously frozen. We uh, took it out of the, of the freezer about six, seven days before Christmas uh, and started to thaw it out. Um, it generally says that it'll take, it'll thaw uh, uh, one pound, I'm sorry, one day, of, it'll thaw five pounds per day, but that's never been the case for me. Um, this is a 20 pound turkey, so it should have thawed out in four days, but it took about six or seven. And that's always the case for all the turkeys. It always takes a couple more days. So just prepare for that. Um, we took it out and patted it all dry and took out the insides, cleaned it up, and uh, we seasoned all sides front and back with some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, some lemon pepper seasoning, and some Italian seasoning. And then we took some cooking spray, uh, olive oil cooking spray, and sprayed all sides of the turkey uh, to get this coating to stick. Put it back into the refrigerator overnight to do a basically a dry brine. Uh, now here we are with our turkey the next day. Uh, we have our peanut oil here. This is uh, three gallons of peanut oil. And we're gonna be frying that in a Butterball indoor turkey fryer. Uh, the uh, We filled it up to the max line in the turkey. This is a 20 pound turkey, which is the pretty much as big as this fryer will hold. Um, I didn't, I had doubts because the turkey looked a lot bigger than this basket, but it was able to fit into the basket perfectly. So it, it, we didn't have any problems with that. Um, we then um, took our turkey and went ahead to place it into the fryer. It took about 45 minutes for this oil to heat up. Um, there's an indicator on this on the side that tells you when it's ready or once it reaches temp. And we slowly uh, used a, a little um, holder to slowly place it in. Make sure you use some oven gloves or something here. I didn't have any gloves on it, it was very hot. <laughs> uh, but just go ahead and pour this, uh, slowly put this in. Once it, uh, you're at the bottom, you're good to go. And just make sure that it doesn't overflow or anything that you don't overfill it. Uh, if you do uh, if you realize that it's gonna reach up to the top, just make sure that you do not put the turkey all the way in because it will over, it possibly overflow on you. Um, it took, it says that it normally takes um, three to four minutes per pound. And this is a 20 pound turkey, so it would be a minimum of an hour to cook. Uh, we went ahead and cooked ours for about 70 minutes and put in our thermometer to check the temperature. And once the uh, dark meat reached around 170, 175, we went ahead and pulled it out of the fryer. And this is what it looked like once it was time for the turkey to come out, a nice golden brown color. Uh, we used our little hook to locate the handle of the fryer and then went ahead and slowly pulled it out. See, I'm here wearing my Christmas pajamas here. <laughs> um, now, though, I did have doubts. This little, those two little hooks at the bottom, that it, it's a little piece that the side of the whole basket sits on. I had doubts that it would even hold that because it was didn't seem that strong, but it held that with turkey fine and it didn't wiggle or move or fall back in or anything. So that was good to know also. Um, now here we are with uh, the turkey. Um, after it came out of the fryer, we let it rest for about an hour. I just went ahead and put it in the uh, put it in the oven. It, we didn't have anything that much to cook, so we just sat in the oven and everything else was already done. And here we are after. Um, the skin was nice and crispy once it came out. It kind of uh, loosened up a bit as it as it thawed as, as it cooled down and the moisture and everything got to it. But um, here we are cutting out a piece of the turkey. Um, that first piece is always the best that you get what that you can get meat on as well as a large port portion of the skin on it. That's uh, one of my favorite pieces. Uh, but this turkey came out amazing. Uh, the flavor was great. The Overnight brine allowed the seasonings to stick and penetrate the meat, and it, the meat re remained juicy. Um, different from the barbecue turkeys that I normally do, I mean, this was a whole lot faster. This whole process was done in 70 minutes. Well, it took an hour for the oil and everything to heat up, but once the turkey was ready to go in, that was very simple. Just put it in. I didn't have to come back running in and checking it. Uh, use it. Use a, a probe thermometer, and you'll be able to constantly check the temperature. So, 
as long as you get that nice color on it that you want you're 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 fine good to go um we are here trying to piece a little piece of the uh turkey that came off of the little piece that we cut up um now here we went ahead and just cut up some pieces we have some uh dark meat as well as some uh a turkey leg and some breast meat here um, also we have cut up some slices uh, we just took the breasts and just cut up some large slices of that and put that to the side and took some pictures of that but overall this turkey came out great I would definitely do this again um, try out some different flavors um, also try to get some smaller turkeys a uh, turkey breasts with no legs or wings on it those should be able to cook a lot faster like 30 minutes or so only problem is that you'll have to just make sure you have enough oil for it. This this, this indoor fryer does take a lot of oil. Um, it used almost a whole three uh, gallon of the oil that we bought, which is about thirty dollars. So the main purchase price for this would be the oil that you have to consistently buy for it. But if you're going to do a lot of turkeys or something, that I would just do them all at once and and use the turkey to the max, use the oil to the max and get it over with. But um, if anyone has any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.